I, I feel like every time I start a new cooking stream, I start the stream by saying, this is the most involved cook we've ever done. But this is the most involved cook we've ever done. Um, is it gonna be traditional poutine? No. Is it gonna be delicious? Absolutely. French fries. We don't need cocoa powder in our French fries. Now, let me figure out what the best thing to do next is. Because I don't think it's starting the gravy. Yet. Um, so I, I think I've I think I've got an order of events here. Let's prep the ingredients for the for the gravy. We'll start the gravy and sear off the the stuff. Get it into the pressure cooker. Because then the rest of this is just I need that to I need the crust to cool before I can put the filling on it. A little bit of prep going here for our uh, for our gravy. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get our onion. We're just gonna that onion right now. We're not actually, we're not gonna dice it or anything. We're, we're really just gonna peel it and have it uh, because it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna be mixing it into the uh, into the gravy. It's just gonna be for flavor in our uh, broth. So uh, I just got some sage, uh, some sage plants and some uh, some lemon thyme. So we're just gonna get a little bit of that minced up because we are going to, uh, we're gonna be putting some into our gravy. I think, I think sage is really good in the gravy. This is the part where I will say, if you're a little squeamish about, uh, about meat products, all right? Um, if you're a little squeamish about meat products, we are gonna be getting into the meat now. Um, the meat guy at Safeway hooked me up, all right? Cause like, cause like, I asked him, uh, I asked him for oxtail and he got me like tail tips, all sorts of that. And then look at, look at all these chicken hearts. Homie hooked me up with a ton of chicken hearts. All right, that is a ton of chicken hearts. And they are like quality ass chicken hearts, man. I'm really like, I'm, Im I'm impressed. I'm like, so like big, big love to, uh, to Safeway, the butcher at Safeway for hooking me up. All right, Safeway hooked me up. Um, I don't know if any of you have made giblet gravy before. Uh, but I encourage you, if you are, if you are, if you want a way to one up your Thanksgiving dinner, use the giblets, sear them off in butter, and build your gravy off of that. It has so much flavor in it. Um, you can also, if you're so inclined, you can also blitz it in a food processor and get some of it in. But, uh, anyway. The, uh, the oxtail we don't need to do anything with now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna brown all this off in butter and then we're gonna stick the oxtail in the pressure cooker and let the, uh, the hearts just kind of sit in the butter for a little while to get some of the, the flavor in there before we build our gravy. But I just want to, uh, I'm actually just gonna clean these up just a little bit, um, just to trim some of the fatty cartilagey bits off because um, uh, I don't need the fat content. I just kind of want the, uh, I just kind of want the meat. I just kind of want the meat for the flavor, for the for the flavor. So we're gonna trim down just the tops off of uh, off of some of these chicken hearts. I apologize for boop booping a heart on stream. I just realized that was absolutely not an appropriate thing to do while streaming. This is my favorite part of everything. All right, this is the really fun part where we just melt a ton of butter down. Like just a ton of butter, like a whole stick of butter. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. What, what recipe starts with a whole stick of butter that isn't delicious? So basically what we're gonna do here is uh, Some of my uh, some of my favorite foods are uh, are just things I enjoyed on childhood trips to uh, to to Canada's to Canada single Canada Canada singular. 
I used all my cheesecloth when we made ricotta and I didn't buy more, so we will not be doing a, uh, a bouquet garni. We're just going to uh, take these herbs, stick them in the uh, in with the onions in the, uh, the, the pressure cooker instant pot there. God, I love butter. Butter's great. What a, what a good day. What a, like, I get to make two of my like favorite things ever. Ever today. I get to make poutine. I get to cook french fries, which if you guys are, uh, if you guys are new, I really like, uh, I really like, uh, uh, <laughs> I really like making french fries. It's one of my things that I, I really like. And I, I like using it because french fries are a really simple example of showing you how, how easy it is to fry at home. Um, though today, we are, uh, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be using the deep fryer today just to speed up the process. Turn this down a little bit because the butter's starting to, the butter's starting to boil and, uh, before the rest is even melted. Uh, to be fair, I was starting with partially frozen butter, which, uh, a bit of a mistake, but, uh, I didn't have time to, I, I like, realized I needed more butter after I started it. I also am using salted butter because I had to use all the unsalted butter for the, uh, the bars. So normally I wouldn't use salted butter for a gravy, but it's what I had in the house. It is what it is. I'm just gonna, just keep in mind, I'm not gonna be adding too much salt to the dish later on because we have the salted butter that we're working with. Just gonna... Yeah, not quite. We're just gonna kinda, we're gonna let this go. We're gonna brown it off a little bit. Just in our butter. I'm gonna throw, make sure we get the, uh, the big, big pieces of oxtail in there. We're just gonna kinda let it, let it bubble away. I'm not too stressed about overcrowding the pan. Um, just because all this is gonna get jumbled up in the, uh, the pressure cooker anyway, so. Hey Laura, you wanna come grab the, oh! Mixed into the butter here. All right, so I'm gonna start doing is uh, pulling these out, throwing them into our, our bowl here. And we're gonna turn this way down. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, Bob, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Add the chicken hearts into there. I'm actually going to turn the heat off on that and cover it. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back to the stove. And you can hear the hearts sizzling away in there. We're just really just going to let those go and basically poach in butter. Um, while those do that, I'm going to let it sit back there. We're going to bring the fryer out this way. And we're going to get the initial fry done on our, on our potatoes because I want them to cool. All right. Those are looking good. Again, we're not we're not trying to get them colored. These look blonde as hell. They hardly look cooked, but they're uh, they're just soft. They're, they're nice and soft. All right, we're gonna turn our uh, fryer off. That yeah, wasn't sealed right. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. It's okay. That's only the second thing I fucked up today, right? Right? How do I just not eat everything on the spot? It's hard. Uh, it's honestly, it's, it's, it's very hard. Um, everything I, like, I don't want to be like that guy who's like, everything I make is delicious, but like, most of what I make on stream turns out really good, and I'm really proud of that, and I hope you guys take that as encouragement for, if my dumbass can make good food, you smart people can also make good food. We're, uh, <laughs> we're... I'm waiting for the pressure cooker to uh, to cook our oxtail because I messed it up. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this butter and, uh, and chicken fat that's in there, a little bit of a uh, little bit of schmaltz that's in there, and uh, we're gonna make a roux um, just by adding some uh, some flour. And then we are going to take that 
and uh, thin it out with the uh, with the broth that comes out of the pressure cooker and uh, it'll all come together to be a delicious, delicious gravy. And then that is going to, uh, we'll taste that for seasoning, maybe add some stuff in there, a little, a little pepper, a little salt, kind of see how it is. And then uh, pressure cookers, am I right? Is <laughs> the good part, all right? Um, go to the, uh, the bigger overhead shot. You kind of see it over here on the side. I apologize. Like I, I would move the uh, the hot plate. Oh, I can do this. Watch this. Put it right here. Put it right here. All right. And we're just gonna run this through. It's gonna catch all our uh, all our bits and pieces and whatnot. Drain all our broth through there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this butter chicken fat mix back up. All right. We're gonna get this nice and hot, bubbling again, and we're going to whisk in some Wonder Flour. It's just gonna absorb, we're gonna make a roux, basically a big paste, right? And then we are going to, uh, we're going to uh, slowly drizzle this uh, this broth in for uh, maximum delicious. All right, so we're just gonna whisk in some flour, kind of tell this all combines into a, into a nice paste. God, it almost smells sweet. I mean, the gravy is sweet. So once we get the flour nice and toasted out, a little bit of moisture out. Once that doesn't smell like flour, let's see. that's a smell. Wow. Um, switch hands here. Oh! I'm just gonna whisk this in a little bit at a time until it comes together. Dude, this smells so good. Oh my god. The oxtail, like, it almost smells sweet. It almost smells like a caramel. Like, like a meat caramel. Turn the heat off on that. We're gonna add some, uh, some stuff in there. The biggest one being, of course, needs a couple pinches of salt. I know we used the salted butter, but I wanted to wait until this is uh, finished up. We're just put a ton of cracked black pepper in there. So what we're gonna do now is I'm bringing the temperature up to 375, which it just hit. And we're gonna fry them again. This is when we fry for, for color and flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna do some of our cheese curds underneath the gravy. I like them underneath, a little bit underneath, a little bit on top, because uh, I find the ones underneath uh, they, uh, they melt better. I want to make sure we get these split up everywhere. I, I don't like, you know, it's good with just the gravy, but you want the bites, you know? You want every every big bite to have some uh, some cheese in there. And then, just want to put a couple of these less melted bites here and there. Just some little, little pops of cheese curds, you know? Just little, little squidgy bits here. I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not going to bother trying to make it look pretty. I'm not taking a picture of this. Um, Laura, <laughs> come eat food. Okay, the gravy is so. It's like the best Thanksgiving gravy, but on like a whole nother level. A little splash here. And there. Oh, there's no pretty way to eat poutine. There's no pretty way to eat poutine. A little splat of chamalt vinegar on there. Just give it a little. Little acid to break up the rest of the uh Like my pride doesn't want me to have people see me eat poutine, but it's too good. <laughs> like I do still have oh the malt vinegar is good. Okay. So the people who suggested malt vinegar, who was that? Like all of you. It's so good. Man, I still have pride. <laughs> mm. Ain't no laws when you're drinking white claws. What exactly is malt vinegar? Uh, basically, it's it's corn, corn liquor that's uh, aged way down and allowed to ferment into a vinegar. Um, yeah, it, it's basically it's fermented corn. <laughs> um, so it's a little it's a little sweeter, a little funkier than than say white vinegar. Um, 
It's it's really good. It's really it's really delicious. Uh, Sorry, I'm Heinz having. Heinz is the uh, the go-to if you ask me. I'm having like an experience over here while he's just <laughs> <laughs> talking about talking about vinegar, <laughs> guys. Uh, I will see you guys on Saturday for uh, for our our uh, our. Um, I'll go to the big one. I'll see you guys on Saturday for our uh, our hot wings challenge. It's gonna be fun. Tuesday, remember fundraiser. It's gonna be a grand old time. Thank you for being here. Let's get some Canadian food is lit in chat, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll see you guys on uh, on Saturday. All right. Thanks for being here. You guys are the best. I say you're the boy who says, let's go out, have fun together. Yes, for the sunny day, yes, for the